Morning, church. Morning. Morning, church. It's great to be back. It's been a while. It's just getting the attitude of praise and worship. Just say a special praise to God this morning. Ask him for one thing that you are relying on him for. Are we ready, ready for praise and worship? Yes. Are we ready for praise and worship? It's a bit too quiet in here. Are we ready for praise and worship? Yes. Okay. Ah! 
an act of worship, I'm just going to praise God and bring him here today. I'm just going to magnify his holy name. If there is no one else like him, I just want to say, Thou art worthy, O Lord. Thou art worthy of your holy name. Oh. 
the Lord has said, Lord, let the wickedness of the wicked upon our land come to an end. The wickedness of the wicked, let it come to an end. In the name of Jesus, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I want to read Deuteronomy 27. 25. Deuteronomy 27, 25. It says, Cause the ease that taketh reward to slay an innocent person, and all the people shall say, Amen. Amen. It says, Cause the ease that taketh reward to slay an innocent person. I want us to pray. This is the scripture. People that are profiting behind the prophet. People that are making money. People that instructed them to go. They have God Father. We know they are a God Father. I want us to declare this scripture. Even of our son. People that they will go back and give feedback. We don't as you ask us to do. The Bible will not be broken. I want us to declare this scripture upon them. In the name of Jesus, because you know, if there is no, there is no fire without a smoke, or there is no smoke without fire, something trigger, action bring reaction. I want us to declare this scripture that cause will be upon them and their generation. In the name of Jesus, can you display that scripture again? He said, cause be ye that take it to war to slay an innocent person. Cause be ye, cause it by day. People that take reward, people that are being paid for shedding innocent blood, for causing trouble, for staying behind, for hiding, because they want to be important. Jehovah, we declare your consider, even a person that are getting reward, even for the trouble in our nation. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask, O oh Lord, you will pay them back, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want us to, you know, pray. The Bible says, when we decree a thing, it shall be established. I want us to declare peace upon our land, healing upon our land, peace upon our land, that there will be an end to bloodshed in the name of Jesus. That God will arise even and prove himself to be God in Nigeria, in the name of Jesus. I want us to ask God to arise and prove himself. He's God that has never lost a battle. I want us to ask God and say, Jehovah, you will arise, O Lord. Arise, O Lord, and bring an end to bloodshed in the name of Jesus. And cause and you will stop, you will cut the storm that we are in. At the moment, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you will come and please stop. You will arise, O oh Lord. You will arise. You will arise. You will arise. In the name of Jesus, uh, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want us to pray. And I will give you know an example. When Saul of Tarsus was going to Damascus to attack the church. He had an encounter on the way and he was converted. I want us to pray. We know the situation. After the killing back in Nigeria, they started looting. I want us to pray. As they are, you know, planning their scheme at this weekend, whatever next step they want to do, I want us to pray that God will go ahead of them. And it will, it, will, it will destroy their plan in the name of Jesus. They will have an encounter. And I will give you another example in the Bible. You know, this happened to Abraham and it happened to Isaac. When he said his wife was his sister, 
the thing that was supposed to attack would not sleep. I said, why did you do this? Why did you lie? I want us to pray. As many that have the intention of carrying on the destruction, as many that have the intention of carrying on with shedding of blood, with destroying life, property, bringing people down, that God will arrest them. In the name of Jesus, that they will arrest them. Praise the living Jesus. You all welcome in Jesus' name to the service. And we pray that the blessings of the Lord we shall be increased upon our lives in Jesus' name. And um, we want to thank God for the opportunity able to see another season. You know, it is not by power nor by mind, but by the spirit of the Lord that has kept each and every one of us. Many want to witness it. Many want to see but they are not being given the opportunity. But we thank God for that grace that he has released upon each and every one of us and our families. May his name alone be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, it's time for the offering. So for offering and tithes. And if you have your offering, as we know, we have our um, online payments for tithes and for our offerings. So if you can start doing that if you are paying your tithe and offering and we have the information on the screen. And for those that are watching us at home, please, we have the information on the screen if you can do so. And if you are just um, setting up a new account, we have different um, sort code. So if you can avail yourself to do the same. And I pray as we give our tithe and our offering, the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. And the blessings of God in Deuteronomy 28, verse 12, the Lord will release upon our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. For those that are paying their tithes, maybe from home or from here, if you are paying your tithes and you are here, you can stand up on where, wherever you are, and the pastor will pray over your tithes. Amen. Tana Rock of Ages, we say thank you once again. Thank you, Lord, for putting seed in our hands, Lord, to sow into your kingdom. Thank you for every of your children that are responding in obedience to your word by bringing in their tithes into your storehouse. Lord, I ask in the mighty name of Jesus, as you have promised, Please open your windows of heaven upon them, upon their home, Amen. upon their family, Amen. upon their business, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And as you have promised to rebuke the devourer for their sake, every devourer 
Lord, I curse in their lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not be devoid of your peace. You will not be devoid of your abundance. You will not be devoid of the harvest that God has meant for you as a result of your yielding to his word in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that your bands will always be full and your cruise of hell will never run dry. I pray that God Almighty will stand up for you. You will not be reproached. You will not be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we, so if you can continue paying your offering, if you are paying that, God bless us in Jesus' name. Kingdom News. This is the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Kingdom Builders Family, Luton, where God is building a family, developing potentials, and raising leaders. And for those of you that are watching us from home or from YouTube or on Zoom, we welcome you especially to our royal guest worshiping with us today. And we pray that the Lord will bless you beyond expectations in Jesus' name. Amen. And um, the followings are the announcements for our service during the week. Amen. On Sunday like this, we have Sunday service for our children from the age of um, 2 to 10. And their service starts from 10 to 10.30, which we have on Zoom. And um, you know, I, I believe the children are having a great time even learning at the feet of Jesus. And I pray that our children shall be thought of the Lord and great shall be their peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, our Sunday service starts from 10.30, where we have our Sunday school, from 10.30 to 11 o'clock. And during this time, we, you know, as we say, it's a school. So we learn about the, the word of God. Like today, we've learned about the church. And I pray that the Lord himself will interpret every of his words in our hearts in Jesus' name. And the family worship also starts at 11 o'clock which um, starts with this praise and worship and every other things. We want to encourage you to join us, both online and both in church. And today we want to thank God, even for as many that are able to make it to the church building today. And we pray the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. On Mondays, we have our Sort Me Out program, which um, starts from 6 o'clock till 7 o'clock in the morning is a week, you know, we start our week with prayer. You know, in these days, there's nothing we can do without praying. And praying is communication with God. So we pray and we ask that individually we should join, you know, this program every morning, Monday morning, six o'clock to seven o'clock. And where we pray diverse prayers, even as the Lord leads us to pray. And we know that testimonies abound for as many that are joining. And we pray that our week shall be blessed in Jesus' name, even as we join. We have the joining um, numbers and the access code, and the same is also sent every Sunday to every one of us. So please endeavor to join, to pray. Amen. And on Tuesdays, we have our Digging Deep, which starts from 7 to 8.30, and we just started, you know, the church as well. They, they, they studying the book of Acts of Apostle. So please join us as we do that. And I believe if um, right, this Tuesday should be our only communion. I'm not sure, but I think it's the last Tuesday for this month. But we will be informed if it's going to be only communion for us to join. And I pray the Lord will be with us all in Jesus' name. Amen. And on Wednesday, we have our prayers, which is only for 30 minutes online. And it starts as the unprecedented times require unprecedented prayers. And we know that we are surely at the unprecedented time. The time we don't even know what is going to happen when we step down outside and when we finish service. So we don't know. But we, we, we use prayer, you know, to go ahead of us and by meeting together to pray. And it's only for 30 minutes. Please, let's join to pray. We can never pray too much. Amen. 
And um, also we encourage one another, we encourage each and every one of us to, to reach out to people, to reach out to those around us, our neighborhoods, our families, our you know, church members, and everyone that, you know, because anybody that is, you know, that you can lend unto, they are your neighbor. Amen. They don't have to be only people in the household of faith. Everyone, you, you know, be a Samaritan to them. Praise the Lord. So there will be a listening here, might be supporting them materially, might be supporting them in prayers, might be supporting them in encouraging them just that test message, that phone call that they don't expect. And the Lord will and it will help us to be able to do that when it's, when it's actually needed. You know, there was a time I called somebody and it was out of blue and the person was sick and they didn't, you know, they were not ever expecting it. I was even, I didn't even know they were sick. And that is what we can do, you know, by pray, asking God to direct you to that person that actually needs that call, that test message, that visit, that need, you know, that provision you want to give them. And the Lord will lead each and every one of us to be able to do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, we have a um, wedding anniversary. I know they are far, but they are not far in spirit. I believe they might be online with us this morning as well. Brother Jude and Sister Gloria's wedding anniversary is on the 28th of October. Let's give them a call. Let's celebrate with them. Let's ring them. Let's pray with them. And we pray the Lord will keep their hope and bless that union in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm not sure we haven't got any bad days to the end of this week. Um, next announcement is we have the United in Prayer for Nigeria prayer walk that is happening today. And it's happening in London, in Mabu Arch. That's where they are meeting. And I believe um, the time is three o'clock in the afternoon. And it's a call to pray and a call for action. And I believe all of us, you know, that we have blood running our streams. We saw what happened and what is still happening in Nigeria. And we know that it shouldn't be, you know, it shouldn't be an experience of, you know, of a nation or for any generation. But we asking God for his hand and for his, you know, for his intervention in that land in Jesus name. So if you are able to join, please do so. Um, as we all announce every Sunday, the church is open and we are um, COVID compliant and um, the church is secure as well. And we can see today, we welcome everyone that are actually here, you know, physically to worship with us today. And we appreciate your coming. And we pray that the Lord will meet with each and every one of you, even before you leave his presence in Jesus name. And for those that are at home, we pray that the Lord will meet you as well, where you are, because God can, he is not, we can box in is there you will meet with you but if you are able to come come and enjoy the fellowship that's what you know that's when we extend that you know that that love to you come and enjoy the fellowship the fellowship of laughing or you know sitting together and you know seeing one another come and enjoy it and the lord will bless you if you do that in jesus name so we normally send out the link for registration so please register to be able to come to church and we pray the lord will be with you and as you do so in jesus name Amen. Lastly, for those that are paid for their manual, I believe last week Sister Fola uh, made that announcement that they've ordered it. Hopefully by the time it's delivered, everyone will have their manual paid into church account. But if you want it, please pay into church account and you'll be able to have yours. Praise the Lord. If there's any other announcements, Pastor will pass them to us. Thank you. Praise the Lord. We turn around the pages to say thank you. King of glory, we appreciate and honor your name. Thank you for the offerings that we have brought into your house. Thank you, Lord, for you are the God that blesses. And when you bless, Bible says that there is no height of sorrow therein. Lord, I pray for everyone that has given into your work this morning. Lord, the blessing that comes from your throne of grace that has no sorrow to it. 
Lord, I pray you release to each and every one in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, to those that have a desire to give to you, but they have nothing to offer at this point in time. And Father, my God, I pray that you will surprise them. That you will meet them, O oh God, at the very point of their needs. And the Lord, your name be glorified. Thank you, your last name. Father, as we continue with this service, Lord, I ask what you have intended to do. Please, Lord, do it. We exhort and magnify you. Have your way, O oh God. And take absolute control. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Praise the name of the Lord. I uh, want to thank God for today, and I want to welcome as many of us as are here physically in church. And uh, to all that are watching us all over the world, I pray the blessing of the Most High God upon your lives in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that your existence in life will be meaningful and will be impactful in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I, as we know that we are in a new season, um, it's a season that we are moving from one to another. And um, when God put his word in my heart, I was not actually thinking about, you know, changing season. I wasn't really, you know, thinking about changing season. But what I was, you know, what God puts in my, my heart uh, has to do with changing season. And so I prepare to share uh, and to begin a, a series of, you know, of study, you know, with us on the topic, where are you in the journey of life? Where are you in the journey of life? But I sat there and I looked at, you know, everything. People have been referring to this season. But I sat there and just before I came home, you know, God took me back to, you know, uh, some things which he dealt with me. Uh, in the past few days. And um, just this morning, you know, I was just groaning in spirit. You know, while I was, you know, while I was sleeping, at the same time I was awake, you know, I was just groaning in the spirit. And uh, God put some prayer points, you know, in my heart. And what I normally do is, whatever it is, you know, he, he gives me things like that. I quickly, you know, either pick up my phone or pick up my iPad and I put it down. And some of these are prayer points and I want us to pray. Uh, to many of us, we are from, you know, the country Nigeria. And we all know what is going on in Nigeria. Uh, I'm not a politician. And let me be sincere with you, because of things that are happening in Nigeria, for some time, you know, it's like, I'm just fed up with what is happening. But when you see some things or you hear some things, it grows your spirit. And so there's a need for us to cry out to. We don't have any other source of power. We don't have any source of help. Our so-called politicians, they have failed. They are not politicians, but they are people that are just going there just to do what? Just to, you know, uh, you know, enrich themselves. And so the people that voted them in, they are the one that they are actually turning against. And I thank God for that scripture that my wife, you know, uh, prayed. That Deuteronomy 27, 25. Deuteronomy 27, 25. The Bible says, Cursed 
Be he that taketh reward to slay an innocent person. Cursed be he that taketh reward to slay an innocent person. And the Bible says, and all the people shall say what? Amen. Amen. Do you know that there are some people that are profiteering out of Nigeria? The things that are supposed to go to the hands of the people, these are the things that they are holding on to. I know that the unfortunate thing is what they do is to just instigate it. What they do is they will first of all, you know, like what is happening now, you know, with the right, the youth having a peaceful world, rally. And what did they do? They started what? Shooting at them. And I know the irony of it is when the leader now comes on the hill and says no one was killed. I don't know how you feel. Think about the parents, the mother that gave birth to that child that was shot dead. Think about that father that had labored so much on that child to become what he was before he was shot dead. And the governor will now stand up and say no one was shot dead. That we have gone to the hospitals and there was no one killed. We've been to mortuaries and no one was found to have suffered any gunshot. Increased my heart. Increased my heart. You know, the shooting now propelled the youth to take a, a diverse world attitude towards what they were doing. Just last night, we got the, the news of a young inspector of police who happened to be a younger brother to someone that we know back home from the same place we all came from. A young boy, and I understand he was not meant to be at work, but he was called to come and do some inspection. And he went. Guess what happened? He was shot in the head and passed away. Innocent laws are being shared. And this government that we say we have, they are not taking any responsibility. God will judge. And no wonder the scripture says, Cast be he that taketh reward. And these people, because of their positions, because of their influence, you know what they are doing? Some of them are hiding. Some of them have even, you know, jetted out. And not one of them and his wife jetted to France and now he's in the United Kingdom. He's in England now. The Bible says in Isaiah 48, 22, it says there is no peace save the Lord unto the wicked. If they don't repent, the word of God will come to pass in their life. It will come to pass in their family because they have caused sorrow to some people. Isaiah 49 from verse 24 to 26 says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty, 
shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee, and I will save thy children. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. I want us to please every one of us. The Lord will re renew your strength. The name of Jesus. Shall we all stand? Children, please stand up. God will renew our stand. The next five, seven minutes, please, I want us to pray. And we're going to pray for Nigeria. And those of us that are watching us online, I want you to please join us in this prayer as we cry out to the Lord of hosts. The one that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can think or imagine. The one that can silence the oppressors. The one that can part and Red Sea. The one that can swallow the armies of Pharaoh in the Red Sea. We're going to pray. And we're starting with that same scripture. Deuteronomy 27, 25. Cursed be he that taketh reward to slay an innocent person. I want you to say with me, Father, as many as are using their positions or influence to perpetrate wickedness, unrest and bloodshed in Nigeria, let them be cursed together with their entire household in the name of Jesus. I want us to pray except you are happy with what is happening in Nigeria. It has come to that extent that the word of God must be fulfilled in the life of as many as are perpetrating wickedness. Those that are using their influence, those that are using their positions, The Father will stand upon your world. Let them be cursed. As many as are taking reward, as many as are profiteering. Lord, uh, by slaying innocent children, innocent young adults, innocent people, boys and girls in the nation of Nigeria. Father, let them be cursed. The word says there is no peace unto the wicked. Let's pray to the Lord. Let there be no peace to every traveler of the nation of Nigeria. Let there be no peace. Let there be no peace. Let there be no peace. Father, let there be no peace. To every traveler of Nigeria. Cry out to the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. Second Corinthians 10, 4, from verse 4 and verse 5. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 and 5. The Bible says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of struggle. There are some struggles that are holding the destiny of Nigeria now. I want us to call upon the name of the Lord. The Father, release your fire to every struggle, every cabal, every institution of evil. That are working wickedness concerning the nation of Nigeria. Lord, as Nigerians, as citizens of Nigeria, we stand, O God, together. And we call on you, Lord. Come down.
come down to scatter every stronghold of evil, every stronghold of wickedness, every demonic struggle, every satanic struggle. Lord, let their control, oh God, be destroyed. Let their gathering, oh God, be scattered. Every of their thoughts, every of their imaginations, Lord, we stand together, Lord, this afternoon and we cast them down. Everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God concerning the nation of Nigeria, we pull down today in the name of Jesus. We bring every captivity, every thought on the obedience of Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus, let's call upon the Lord. Let's call upon the Lord that according to Isaiah 49, 24 to 26, as many as are oppressing the citizens of Nigeria, as many as are frustrating the destiny of Nigeria, Father, feed them with their own flesh. In the name of Jesus, that the Lord will feed them with their own flesh. The Lord, let them begin to drink with their own blood. Let your entire household know no peace again, except they repent, except they do the right thing. Let's pray the peace of God upon Nigeria. That the peace of the Most High will reign in Nigeria. Let's call upon the law. Let's call upon the law. The Bible says in Psalm 102, verse 13. Psalm 102, verse 13. It says, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. From the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. I want us to put Nigeria. Let's pray for Nigeria, the Father. According to your word in Psalm 102, verse 13. Lord, arise for the nation of Nigeria. Let today be that day, O oh God, that you will start that work of redemption and restoration. Arise, O oh God, and have mercy upon Nigeria. Lord, let today be that set time, O oh God, to favor her. Arise, O oh God. Thou shalt arise and have mercy on Nigeria. For the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. We speak deliverance to Nigeria. We speak peace to Nigeria. Amen. We speak unity to Nigeria. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. let's pray that the purpose of God shall be established concerning Nigeria. The purpose of God shall be established concerning Nigeria. Oh, we give you praise. We appreciate you, Lord. We exalt your holy name. We decree peace over Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that Nigeria will not retrogress again. We decree Nigeria is moving forward. In the name of Jesus. Lord, in whatever way you want to do it, to bring sanity to that nation. You have done it in the, in the past. In whatever way, Lord, you want.
want to restore peace to that nation. Whatever way, Lord, you want to deliver Nigeria. Innocent blood have been shed. Father, we stand upon your word to this afternoon that the blood of these innocent ones that have been shed over the nation of Nigeria will not be in vain. As the blood cries, O oh God, for absolute and total deliverance from the hand of the wicked ones and agents of darkness perpetuating evil in that land. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will save us. Yeah. Those cries, Father, will not go in vain. Yeah. As those cries come to you, Lord, I ask, Father, that Lord Jesus, you will hear and do something. Yeah. Nations are calling upon you concerning Nigeria. Nigerians in different nations of the world, they are crying out to you, Lord, just like we are calling on you now. The Lord, when will you have mercy on us? Father, your word says, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her, yea, the set time is come. We speak this same word concerning Nigeria. The Lord, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Nigeria. For the time to favor her, yea, the set time to deliver Nigeria is come. Give us mouth to testify. Yeah. Let there be no more shedding of blood. Yeah. Let there be no more looting. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Lord, as many as are in the government that are working against your plan concerning the nation of Nigeria. My Father, my God, I ask, even as I join my faith with your children, those that are here and those that are under the sound of my voice, watching online, all over the world, that God, please, keep us testimony. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. We plead the blood of Jesus upon that nation. We are loved ones there. Father, we pray that the blood of Jesus will avail yeah. and will speak better things concerning the nation of Nigeria. Yeah. As many as are in government, that are perpetrating evil. Lord, flush them out. Amen. Let them be disgraced. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. as many as are yielding themselves as agents of darkness over the nation of Nigeria, we reject you as our leaders. Amen. Lord, the people that you are prepared People that you are preparing, people that have your fear in their hearts, people that are ready to serve the people that you have prepared, Lord, begin to install them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The way you will remove the evil ones, we may not know. And we don't even need to know. In your own way, Lord, remove them. Amen. Take them out of stage. Amen. Let there be a true transformation. Amen. 
Let there be a true new Nigeria. We bless you, Father. And if there be any nations of the world, Lord, that are instigating or that they are behind the evil acts, destroying the destiny of Nigeria, Father, let that nation not experience peace. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. Glory, exalt, and magnify you. Lord, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. By the power in the name of Jesus, you will not be stopped from serving God. No situation or circumstance of life will hinder you nor stop you from serving the Lord. The name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Jehovah, we are grateful for the service of today and we magnify your holy name. Amen. Take all the glory, Lord. Amen. This week, I commit every member and all that are watching online into your lovely hands. I decree the mighty name of Jesus. That whatever the enemies are doing to inflict your body with any form of affliction, I reject it in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Concerning you and concerning every member of your household, Amen. I reject cancer for you. Amen. I reject untimely death for you. Amen. I reject sudden death for you. Amen. I reject evil load of wickedness Amen. for you. I reject accident and tragedy. Amen. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, Amen. you will not suffer any loss. Amen. You will not weep it. Amen. The joy of the Lord will overflow in your life. Amen. And the protection of the Almighty, you will experience. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, faithful Father. You, we give you all the glory and praise. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Before we share the grace, hallelujah. Children, when they ask you to stand, stand and pray. Amen. If the older ones are standing up, I see no reason why you should be sitting down. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Um, this is an announcement to all the women that the next uh, four Mondays, every uh, Monday from 10 to 11 p.m., the women will be praying for Nigeria. Hallelujah. I hope the men too will take leave of that. They will learn from that too, and we will also do something. They will be praying for specifically for Nigeria and every woman. Hallelujah. Uh, details will be passed on to uh, every woman in your group chat. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we rise as we bring the service to a close? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know what you desire of the Lord today. I'll just give you 30 seconds to just ask him. Is your father Ask. His word says, and you shall receive.
Lord, we have whispered to your hearings. Everything we have said, Lord, please turn to testimony. Amen. Let this week be the best week we've ever led here. Amen. May we truly experience the fullness of your joy. Amen. We give you all the glory. Once again, for the service of today, we appreciate you. I pray your blessing upon your people. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Let the joy of the Lord continually be their strength. Bless them in your name, Father. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to share the grace now. So the word that God actually has placed in my heart to share with you. If the Lord tarries is coming, we will start it next Sunday. Don't forget, next Sunday is what? Next Sunday. And it's going to be a special one. Hallelujah. I said it's going to be a special one. It's going to be a special one to me. Hallelujah. So let's let's just get ready for that Sunday because we're going to celebrate. Amen. That you have seen 10 months. In the year 2020. I tell you, it's only by what? Grace. By his grace. Amen. Amen. And you will see the remaining months. Amen. I said you will see the remaining months. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Why don't you put your right hand on your forehead and sing with me? I shall live, I shall not die. I shall live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. And our declaration. Hallelujah. I am a product of God's grace, anointed and empowered to manifest the glory of God the Father and heir of the kingdom. That's who I am. I'm untouchable and I'm unstoppable. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. The hand of the Lord of hosts is mighty upon me to manifest his glory. I'm destined for greatness and I'm rising above my peers by the authority of God. I will not be stopped. The riches of the Gentiles are converted to me. Favor of the Lord is encompassing me around about. I declare 2020 is a new dawn for me. I will shine brighter than the stars, for it is my year of revealed glory. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Isaiah. 14 verse 5. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And have a fruitful and productive same week in Jesus' name. Amen.